Hey Jeremy here, today we're going to be learning about the pen tool in Illustrator CC. This tutorial is mainly for beginners, um, but you know, it could be refreshing for someone who already knows it. Um, the pen tool is the most common tool used in Illustrator CC. You use it for everything in your designs, um, your illustrations, if you're cutting out or tracing images as well. And it's pretty much the best tool you can use. Um, so to get out the pen tool, what we're going to do is press P. And you can see how our mouse changes to a, uh, a pen nib. Um, that's a shortcut for the pen tool. Or if you go to the toolbar on the left hand side, you can see you've got the add anchor point tool, the layer anchor point tool, and anchor point tool. So you just right click on that toolbar and you can use these tools there. Um, but I'll show you the shortcut keys, um, which is the faster way. So um, before we start, we want to make sure our smart guides are on because that helps us out identify the anchors and paths and that type of thing. So you can go to press command U or control U or go to view and press smart guides there and use that. You can also go press command or control K. This will get your preferences up and you can change your selection um, and anchor display. So if you want to change the look of your anchors and handles, maybe you want it rounded or outlined, um, you can select these here, these buttons here and just press OK um, and that will change that for you. So before we start, we want to make sure our fill is not on. See in the bottom left hand corner with our colors, you want to make sure it's set to stroke. So you press X to, to switch and then pick a color. I'm using this bright orange color. So now when I click with my pen tool, it's going to have the color. So to create a path, what you do is just click. Now, as you can see, to close the path, you, re you click on the end anchor point and now it's joined. So now this is a path. So I'm just going to boost the stroke up so you can see it. So you can see I've created this path. So what we can do now as well is we can select these anchor points with the direct selection tool or press V for, um, or press V if you want to select the whole path and move the whole path, but use the direct section tool, select the anchor point, and you can click and drag. So we can move these anchor points just like that. Really easy. So if you want to make straight lines, when you click, you want to hold shift. So if I hold shift and click, it's making a directly straight line. So I can quickly make a box using my smart guides as well. You can see the purple line is helping me out. So these, this is directly a square, a box. So I've created that really simply like that. You can also do diagonal lines if you hold shift like that. And you can see it's making a direct 45 degree angle line, which is really handy. So what we can do now as well is we can make curved lines with the pen tool. So I'm just going to lock this circle. I'm going to try and recreate this circle real quick. So instead of just clicking, what we can do is you click, I've got the anchor point, and now I'm going to click and drag while whilst holding shift as well. And I'm going to, you can see how these handles pop up. Those are called handle, handles. So I'm just going to change the, turn the color on. So now it's creating this bezier curve. You, this, this curve here is called a bezier curve. So now I'm just holding shift, dragging them around, trying to recreate the circle just like that. So now I have my circle. It's going to boost the stroke up. And you can see now if I directly select an angle point with the direct selection tool, you can see these handles now. So what I can do with these handles is now edit them. So if I just click on the little handle, it's going to zoom in a bit. I can move it like that. Just drag it. And you can make the curve um, curve like that. Or you can hold shift and try and match it to the circle. And you can see I'm making these points, trying to make it as smooth as possible. Just holding shift. Just like that. You can see on the top here, this point only has one anchor, one um, handle on one side. And what we want to do, we want we want to create two um, two handles on both sides. So it, we can edit it more and it's more functional. So what we can do is hold alt, use the pen tool and then hold alt. And what you can see, you get this anchor move tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the anchor point and drag. And now it's creating the two handles. So now just creating that handle just like that. Really simple. You can also hold alt as well if you want to um, move the path or one side. So if I hold alt and drag this path out, it's going to use these two um, handles and it's going to drag them out. So holding alt or option on a Mac um, is really handy if you want to do that. What we can also do now is we can also create anchor points on a path. So if we select the path, we're just going to click with the pen tool. Now you can see we've got these new anchor points just like that. 
You can see when one's not selected how it's a white square and, and uh, one's a blue square. We can also minus anchor points by going back over it with your mouse and you can see there's a little minus. That means it's going to minus that anchor point. So if I click that, it's actually deleting that anchor point. Just like that. Boom, boom. And it's keeping the path closed, which is good. So we can always go back and add anchor points if we need to and then click and then drag them out. Like that. Really simple, really simple. So what we're going to do now is I'm, I'm going to go to my other artboard now and I'm going to trace over this banana real quick. So we're just going to zoom in. Always zoom in if you have to get the points right. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just going to do it quick. I'm just going to make my stroke smaller. Just like this. If you want to move the lines, always drag and click. Hold shift if you need to as well. But you can always go back and edit those handles um, and those bezier curves to make it more smooth. So it's also good to go to the furthest point of the object that you're tracing as well. And all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging with the pen tool and trying to just get those smooth curves. Just doing a rough job here. And you can see how um, when you've clicked and dragged, it um, leaves a handle there. If you want to get rid of that curve and maybe you want to do a straight line, you can just click on the anchor point and it'll get rid of that handle. So now it's just a straight um, line instead of the, a curve. So that's really handy to know as well. So again, I'll show you again. You can just, if I don't want this curve, um, if you hold Alt, you I can just move this curve around if I want. But if I want to delete it, just click on it as well. A good point to notice as well is that um, when you're clicking and dragging, if you hold space bar, you can actually move this anchor point as you can see. I'm moving it by holding space bar. If you let go, it will hold the, the point back in. You know, it will just leave the point in, in the place you left it. So I hold space bar again and I can move it around. So that's a really handy tip as well that I use. And then you just let go. So I'm just finishing up here. Man, this is a very yellow banana. It's making me hungry. <laughs> so yeah, now I've got my banana. I'm just going to press Shift X to switch the stroke to the fill. And now you can see we've got this banana. I'm just going to turn it off. And now we've got our, let me change the color, our yellow banana. So that's how you use the pen tool, guys. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments below um, of how you're going to use the pen tool. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos each week. And I'll see you guys in the next video.